We are back at it with some more MX bikes, and we're actually at one of my hometown tracks, aka Canyon Motocross. This was just created on August 31st by Dirt Push Collective, aka J Mirrors and Steeler Visuals. And yeah, this is one of my hometown tracks. I probably have more laps on this track than any other track in my life. I'm not going to lie. A couple of things I noticed that are not technically at Canyon, at least from when I went. This building was never here. The slab was here, but the building was not. I like it. It's a nice little touch. I wish there was a building at Canyon. It would have been better for those hot days. But yeah, track is mostly the same from what, what I remember. Just a little bit different. Uh, I'll take you guys one lap and then I'll do like the regular footage, but... Um, yeah, I rode so many laps on this. I grew up on this track, literally from 50s all the way to uh, 250s, 450s. I literally rode this track probably growing up, I would say like two to three times a week on like 50s, 65s. And then when I got to my 250f, 450s, multiple times a week as well, as, as well as like uh, ACP. I literally rode ACP probably mostly on the weekends and then Canyon during the week because Canyon was just a little bit closer. But yeah, most of this is all the same. Like the layout is all the same. Uh, there's a couple things different from what I remember. Uh, I believe this right here is not necessarily a triple. It's more like a tabletop. Um, and that's kind of like what it was. This is more of like a steeper step up kind of, I guess. Not really. One thing I wish that they really would have done is after this section. This is a little bit steeper. Like this hole right here is a little bit steeper. Um, it doesn't really represent it in the game. Growing up, it used to be w even more steep. Um, but yeah, it was like more into the mountain compared to that was like more flat, I guess you can kind of say. Um, but yeah, this basically is the same. This used to be like a little double. And then you kind of like jump up here. This wasn't necessarily like a double, but you could have like jumped up. It was more like a, just like a, a roller section where you could have jumped up into it and jump back down. The same exact layout. When I grew up, the track went the opposite way. I'm not even gonna lie with you guys. It went the opposite way for a while. It used to go this way growing up and then they flipped it. Uh, when That was like when I was on 50s, uh, 65s, a little bit of 65s, mostly on like 50s. I mean, growing up, it was probably my favorite track. We also had ACP eventually. We had ET, Motoland, um, but Canyon was just so close to me that it was just so, so easy to go to. The track was always so good. One thing that was probably my favorite thing about Canyon is everybody going during those like Wednesday night, Thursday night or like practices. It was just so awesome. Like growing up um, on the 50s, 65s, it would be packed, like packed. Some of the best guys in Arizona coming out Wednesday night just to ride. Um, now I say it as like a grown man, but I was like, dude, that was like 20 years ago. It feels like almost, it really is 20 years ago. I'm 29. So I mean, uh, if I could go back, I would definitely go back and try to live, or, like relive those glory days. But man, I remember like days where we would like sit at light posts, like legit, we would like wait for everybody to get off the track. We would all like rush to like an area that we wanted to start and it would just be non-stop laps like we weren't like tr like we were riding instead of like training back in the day like we would go and ride and not like worry about oh we got to practice this section this section this section it would just be riding man we would just put laps after laps after laps until that checker flag came out and we were like all right we can't wait to get back on the next one you know we would go up to the sands watch the big bikes watch like uh, everybody just ride the the older guys, the big bikes, even peewees. Um, just those days were probably the best days, honestly, because you didn't have a worry in the world. And you just got to ride your dirt bike for fun. Uh, you got to hang out with your friends at the track. Like that was probably like the best, best time ever. Canyon races used to be so popping too. Like they would be jammed packed. The trailers would be all the way back to like the entrance when like it was happening all the way up in top of the hill too. Like if you guys remember those days, like those, it was insane. Uh, the classes were stacked too. You had a lot, a lot of fast guys coming through. Big shout out to the boy Travis Tillery, Josh Coleman. Um, those are the top of the names because those are like the guys that I remember the most. And I still talk to a little bit of them, but there's so many, man. There's just so, so many of these guys that would come race these races do the arizona championship that was going between like canyon et acp it was just so sick Ooh, even at thrasherland i don't know if anybody know remembers like thrasherland but that that track was pretty sick too i can't remember all like all the details on it too many concussions but it was a pretty cool track just having like the nostalgia of like thinking back and like have all these memories i have so many photos from canyon it's it's insane like so many so many photos i think my first ever race on dirt bikes was at canyon and this is a little like secret i was so new at motocross that like someone crashed in front of me i got off my bike and helped them back get back on their bike like i didn't even know 
like that's how new i was when i started riding instead of just like keep going but uh yeah my first ever race was at canyon that was a long time ago. i don't even know what date that was that's got to be like 2003 2004 probably i'm trying to think back it was probably when i was like six or seven like 22 years ago i'm freaking old as shit definitely has some nostalgia gonna miss this place um but honestly it kind of got worse towards the end i'm not gonna lie with you guys but overall just one of the one of my favorite places to ever ride honestly so big shout out to the boys at dirt push collective aka j mirrors and sealer visuals for creating this it's awesome to see it so bro these factory 125s are so good so so good you guys saw me rip it in the footage like i was like barely ever losing my front end anywhere which is insane um it felt like so connected with the ground the suspension felt great i didn't have a setup on i was just rocking a stock but it like these factory bikes the 125 now the yz1 the 252 stroke i'll probably be rocking with the 125 or 250 going forward just because of how like consistent they are compared to the other ones but man it, these factory bikes i can't wait for the next update uh it's just gonna be so sick on some other things i told you guys in yesterday's video that i'll tell you guys my fantasy teams well i already have my one draft at two o'clock today i have another one in about an hour so i'll probably record after this but uh this draft there was 12 uh 12 people i was the last pick man i was 12 or i went back to back picks i talked about this earlier it's like a snake draft so you go 12 you go one and then you wait 24 picks it's horrible man it's so bad but anyways uh my team i first drafted derrick henry and joe mixon first in my first two picks and then i went with two wide receivers i went with amari cooper and keenan allen and then my third round i went with deshaun watson george kittle and then i went with another back-to-back -back wide receivers i went with michael thomas and odell beckham and then i went with justin tucker as my kicker again and then a raheem oster as my like backup running back i don't like my bench that much honestly uh tyler i'll I don't even know how you pronounce his last name. DJ Chark, Hunter Renfro, Derek Card, Zach Ertz, and Chase Claypool. These guys are going to be in the, the chopping block instantly if I see someone better than these. But for this draft, like this uh, fantasy like league, they're really good. Like everybody's like really, really good. So it's like hard to draft like really good bench players, I think. But anyways, I think my team is pretty solid. Not the greatest, but it is pretty solid. I think my, at least my starting lineups are, and especially like my backup running back Raheem. I like Derek Carr as my backup quarterback too. Also in this league, I'm the previous champion. So I got to like step up. I got to go back to back, you know, like Jersey said, 96, 97, back to back. Hopefully, I mean, not with this team, probably I got to pick up some crazy waiver wire uh, pickups, but overall, I think the team's all right. But I'll let you guys know about my other draft. I have it in like an hour. I don't know if I'm going to record. I'll just show you guys that in tomorrow's video, probably. So uh, be on the lookout for that. But I appreciate you guys. Big shout out to uh, Dirt Push Collective for creating Canyon. Uh, they did an awesome job. So big shout out to those boys. I'll have the link and everything in the description. So definitely check it out. I appreciate you guys once again. And we'll catch you guys back here in tomorrow's video. I'm out. Peace.